I'm Ashley Kyle and this is your Lake TV News Update. The Lake of the Ozarks shootout hit the water last weekend featuring the best crews, fastest boats, and most dedicated fans in the country for the largest unsanctioned race in the world. Greg Olson won Top Gun, driving 192 miles per hour in an Eliminator boat, 33 Daytona. Olson came out of retirement to enter the shootout after he heard last year's winner, My Way, would be unable to compete after a crash several, several weeks ago on the St. Lawrence River. Now Olson is going out on top. He announced his retirement from boat racing after accepting the Top Gun trophy. Boaters and racers should mark their calendars for the 25th anniversary of the shootout, August 17th through the 25th, 2013. Tragedy struck a family Sunday morning near the 13-mile marker. A six-year-old girl who wandered from family members was found floating at 11.10 a.m. near a dock in Chimney Point Cove. Despite the efforts of family and emergency medical personnel to revive Grace Shaw of Stillwell, Kansas, the child was pronounced dead at Lake Regional Hospital. On Friday, seven boaters were injured when a fountain hit a large wake at the 22-mile marker. According to the Water Patrol, the boat slammed from side to side, causing injuries to the driver and six passengers. We have exclusive footage of the graphic accident filmed by our own Lake TV crew. Five were taken to Lake Regional Hospital for the treatment of minor to moderate injuries. On the road Saturday, a truck ran off the highway and hit a tree, killing the driver and injuring a local man. William Mitchell of Louisiana, Missouri and Jason Glasscock of Camdenton were traveling in Pike County on Route NN when the crash occurred. Mitchell was pronounced dead at the scene. Glasscock was transported by helicopter to Mercy Hospital in St. Louis. A Stover couple will face a trial by jury after pleading not guilty to second-degree murder in the case of three-year-old Blake Litton, who was beaten to death earlier this year. The accused, Thomas T.J. Presley, and Jamie Litton have been in jail since February 16th, the day Blake died at Bothwell Hospital in Sedalia. Presley originally reported the child's injuries as the result of a hit-and-run accident, but an autopsy revealed a severe beating caused Blake's death. A brush fire burned 500 acres in Brumley on Friday. The blaze destroyed two buildings and threatened several others. 15 fire districts responded. Highway 42 closed for five hours, slowing the return home for commuters and students from School of the Osage. According to investigators, the fire began when a mower blade struck a rock. The Camden County Commission is encouraging local farmers hit hard by this year's drought to seek financial assistance. The United States Department of Agriculture is offering money to help farmers acquire water through well drilling and other means. Farmers must contact the USDA before beginning irrigation projects to be eligible for assistance. An interim director has been appointed for the Lake of the Ozarks Council of Local Governments. Linda Connor, the agency's financial officer, will serve while the council seeks a permanent director. According to Camden County Commissioner Chris Franken, the process could take up to six months. Now it's time for a message from Sir Dyke Yamaha. When we return, we'll bring you the locations for the largest fireworks displays this Saturday and Sunday, as well as live music throughout the Labor Day weekend. Stay with us. The good news is on the way. In the world of ATVs, there's tough. Then there's Yamaha, real world tough. For the most rutted out trails, the hardest working farms, and the most remote hunting terrain. Yamaha Grizzly ATVs with EPS. Real. World. Tough. Now's the time to save at the Yamaha Time to Ride sales event. Golf Magazine has named the Ridge Golf Course at the Lodge of Four Seasons one of the five best public golf courses in Missouri. The Ridge has previously been ranked by Golf Digest as a four-star course. The Lodge also features the Cove Golf Course and the Club at Portachima. It's now time to show your American pride. This Sunday, Old Kinderhook invites everyone to the Labor Day Parade on Old Kinderhook Drive. Decorate your golf cart in red, white, and blue, or come with the kids and line the road to catch candy. The parade lineup begins at 12.30 p.m. Labor Day means fireworks at Lake of the Ozarks. On Saturday, catch the show at Bear Bottoms Resort at the 38-mile marker. 
On Sunday, choose the display closest to you as the Lodge of Four Seasons and Tantara fire off their salutes to the boating season at the 13 and 26 mile markers. All fireworks displays begin after dusk. Now here's a look at live music coming this Labor Day weekend at the lake. For breaking news, visit lakeexpo.com. For the Lake TV live stream, go to mylaketv.com. I'm Ashley Kyle, and this was your Lake TV news update. In the world of ATVs, there's tough. Then there's Yamaha, real world tough. For the most rutted out trails, the hardest working farms, and the most remote hunting terrain, Yamaha Grizzly ATVs with EPS. Real world tough. Now's the time to save at the Yamaha Time to Ride sales event.